Monty and Bunma's works consist of indigenous found objects in Thailand, ranging from sacks to bells. Some found objects are commonly associated with Buddhism, the main religion in the country, or forms that resemble the ritualistic nature of Buddhist practice. They are either juxtaposed to create new meaning, or create installations that denote meditative or sacred spaces. Some of Bunma's materials are chosen to reflect the artist's rural surroundings. These include earth, rice sacks, sand, charcoal, baked clay, ash and wax. Unlike artisanal materials such as oil paint, acrylic paint and canvas, these materials belong to an older era, used to reference the long-forgotten Thai culture in the face of westernization. It brings to mind a familiar part of the rural people's life, and it captures the essence of Thai lifestyle. When put together and assembled, these traditional objects form imageries that are new, hidden or forgotten in the viewer's minds. The juxtaposition highlights the deteriorating Thai culture in the face of globalization. The tension between urban and rural, modern and tradition, and the real, forgotten image becomes apparent once again. Buma also used objects associated with Buddhism, the main religion in Thailand. Some objects are industrial materials such as steel and bricks, used to make temples and stupas, and ephemeral materials such as spices, used to give a new sensorial dimension to the work. The contrast between the two not only shows the contrast between transience and permanence, but also symbolizes other dualities that are commonly in tension in his life and his country. Urban and rural, religion and capitalism, life and death, suffering and peace. The variety of materials include, aromatic herbs and spices used for Buddhist healing rituals, candle wax to reflect the Buddhist rituals, alm bowls held by monks to receive food and gifts, and they contain empty spaces that are separated from the outside world, much like the state of meditation. Lotus symbolizes purity. Earthenware bowls, pots, bells and sculptures of lungs reflect the domestic and the temporary nature of human life, fragile and destined to break. Bells are heard in tranquil gardens of Buddhist temples, capable of relieving stress, suffering and pain, while lungs suggest breathing and meditation. Apart from the use of symbolism in his choice of materials, Bunma also assembled the objects in order to create spaces for the viewers to interact with the art object. Some installations form the shape of a stupa or pagoda, Buddhist structures that house religious relics in Thailand, most of which are bell-shaped. They have a sense of stillness, lightness, silence and ascension towards enlightenment. These spaces invite viewers into mesmeric, haunting and humbling spaces of contemplation, escape and meditation. This reflects Bunma's desire to use art to create an experience of healing the body, mind and soul, and to contemplate the impermanence of human life in the physical world. These spaces require viewers to enter the space, allured by the aroma of herbs that not only heals, but also stimulates their senses in an effort to immerse viewers in mystical structures that are profound, alluring, and subtly transforming. Some works require Bunma to stack objects, taking the risk that they might topple and fall. This repetitive task is akin to the idea of fragility and impermanence, and meditation, repeating mantras and being physically present as he places the object with concentration and confidence. Bunma is influenced by Arte Povera, an art movement that enables the freedom to use cheap throwaway materials in order to evoke pre-industrial age. These materials easily evoke the effects of modernization on locality and memory, as the community moves towards the future. Minimalism influenced his use of geometric industrial materials, confronting viewers with the materiality of the work, Fluxus influenced him to make art available to the masses, and blur the boundaries between art and life. His fusion of religion and art may have caused some outrage, as they saw his approach to be sacrilegious, yet he inspired many younger Thai artists to create new styles of art. He was also inspired by Joseph Boyce, a performance artist who believed that art could originate from personal experiences yet also address universal ideas. He influenced Bunma to use art as a means to promote healing and meditation through the use of symbolic materials found in his community and carry spiritual energies. Finally, he was influenced by Buddhist forms, experiences and philosophy, as seen in his choice of materials, aesthetic choices and intentions. Much of Bunma's works are created with themes of loss, grief and healing in mind. His life was filled with tragic events, starting from his marriage. On the advice of a trusted Buddhist monk, he and his wife had to live apart for 10 years in order to avoid difficulties predicted by their astrological chart. At the end of the 10 years, his wife caught measles and died, causing him much grief and resentment towards the very religion he was seeking help from. He found art as a source of strength to heal from the pain. He created installations for prayer and mourning, instilling the awareness of the impermanence of life through the architectural tension. He repeated motifs of question marks and exclamation marks, signs of unknown and discovery, alluding to his personal experience of not knowing if his prayers will help his wife to recover. The never-ending cycle of questions and answers, reflects the idea that suffering from not knowing the future, is an intrinsic part of human existence. The spiral represents movement from the outer to the inner realm through meditation, the only source of comfort and hope to escape from the troubles of reality. All in all, his works reflect an aura of fragility and inner strength.